He's come back to seek his revenge. Only After building a cult following thanks to meaty roles in sitcoms and art house dramas, comedian Robin Williams shot to start him with the Steven Spielberg blockbuster Hook. It's Flubber! What followed is an award-filled career based on over-the-top performances that never lost thrust. Once called the Clown Prince of Hollywood, Williams' life unexpectedly came to a tragic end. Off stage, I just felt he was holding himself together. This unfortunate event prompted the public to speculate on the problems Williams had hidden from his followers. My father didn't always feel he was succeeding. Stand up with survival. Known for her controversial documentaries, filmmaker Marina Zenovich decided to this time turn her lens on Williams. And with Come Inside My Mind, she sets the record straight. Struggles faced by the veteran actor in the face of stardom are laid bare before the audience's eyes. And the director says her project is all about championing Williams and his legacy. You have a fear of abandonment? Oh yeah, it's a primal fear for any child. And it dictates a lot of how you deal with life. The movie was handcrafted. Um, it was made with so much love and respect for Robin um, between the composer and the editors and the researchers. And I think we all just wanted to celebrate him and share him. And if people can walk away with a greater understanding of who he was, and what he tried to do, and how generous he was, and what a great mind he had, then I think we'll, we're happy. First a little tooth for me? Okay. Narrated by the late performer himself, Come Inside My Mind features long forgotten footage of Williams that is sure to please his loyal fan base. What's the matter, you would do it if I was blind? Yeah, the film is told with Robin's voice, and that was a conscious choice that we felt like we wanted you to be able to come inside his mind, which is actually the name of a routine he did in the 70s. Um, you know, when you make documentaries, you kind of, even though there are always new places to go to, you know where to look for archive. Um, whether it's audio or video, we had a great research team that found things, I don't know, BBC, Probably, maybe AP, I don't know, NPR. He called me, leaving messages. On the film received the highest praise possible from the media that claimed the documentary brings the viewer closer to the manic engine of Williams' brilliance and pain. Come on now. You're only giving a little spark of madness.